Autism affects one of every 68 children in the United States. And we know that both genes and the environment contributes to developing autism. And what's special about this study, it was for the very first time able to tell us not only which metals are dangerous or which essential elements might be critical, but also when. Teeth are like a biologic hard drive. They form layers just like growth rings in a tree. So every day we are depositing a new layer of tooth material and it's capturing all this information from our environmental exposures, our nutritional exposures and many other factors. This technology that we have developed relies on baby teeth. Uh, every child is going to shed 20 of their teeth, we can use their basic physiology to reconstruct an entire history of exposure. So we have to use special instruments like lasers to go and sample within these rings. We were able to go back in time from children who had autism and their siblings, their identical twins in some cases who did not, and say, well, when did this difference start and what was the exact chemical that was different? How were they different even before they were born? What we found here is that higher levels of certain toxicants like lead, as well as deficiency of certain nutrients like manganese and zinc can lead to autism, but there are specific windows, specific critical periods when we are more susceptible to these environmental hits. Genetic factors are determined at birth. Environmental factors can change. We could also figure out the most susceptible time period or the critical windows when in our development environmental stressors can set us on a trajectory that may lead to autism.